Tomorrow, will, the nation will mark 21 years since the terror attacks of September 11th, 2001. That day that changed America still generates feelings of sorrow, grief, and even disbelief for millions who lived through the attacks. On that fateful day, hundreds of first responders ran into the danger, into the burning World Trade Center, 110 stories tall apiece, and no group of them suffered more casualties than the fire department of the city of New York. 343 New York firefighters died attempting to save thousands still trapped in the towers. And so we begin the Saturday with the man who was their leader on 9-11, the former fire commissioner of the city of New York, Tom Van Essen, who joins us now. Commissioner Van Essen, thank you so much for being here. Um, I know it's still hard, even after all of these years, but talk to us a little bit. Um, take us back to that day and the first moment when you realized that this was a deliberate attack and some of your first reactions. Well, the report I got was a small plane and I was on East River Drive. So when I got to the building, the chiefs immediately, I was only there in a couple of minutes, actually. The chiefs who are, you know, we have really good fire chiefs and they knew right away it was not a small plane. Some of the guys get up there right away in the elevators. So they knew it was a commercial jet and they knew the damage was so significant that they weren't going to be able to put the fire out. So the, the mission was just to help as many people as they possibly could. We were not going to be able to stop any more damage because the, the amount of heat and, uh, you know, fuel that was up there. Um, couldn't use the elevators anymore because uh, chiefs were always worried about fire getting into the elevator shafts. So the guys had to walk up. So it became a real operation that you was going to go on for a long, long time. Yeah. And then, you know, wow. I forget, 10 minutes later, the vibration was a second now I got hit. And then we realized, oh, my God, this is more than just an accident, or a small plane or a commercial jet if two commercial jets uh, hit both buildings the same day, a beautiful, clear day, uh, we knew it was, we were at war, basically. Yeah, you know, being in New York, a fire in a skyscraper or a large building collapse is a firefighter's worst nightmare. Now you had the two tallest buildings in the city uh, that were, were on fire. Uh, they had a, 50,000 people worked in, in the World Trade Center at that time. They weren't all there due to the timing, but, but the, the, human, the human catastrophe uh, could have been absolutely staggering. What were some of those strategic decisions that needed to be made right away, sort of snap decisions about how to handle this? Well, like I said, the chiefs are as good as you get. They made those decisions right away to get as many of our guys up there to help the civilians as fast, uh, as many as they could. We were evacuating the South Tower at the time, but then the South Tower got hit. The South Tower came down much faster than the North Tower because it was hit on lower floors and hit on an angle. So that was uh, when the South Tower came down, we knew uh, we were in really bad uh, shape because it's going to take us longer to evacuate the North Tower. So it was just, um, you know, the, the immediate reaction is to just get the people out. The buildings can always be replaced. Once you know you can't put a fire out, this wasn't just a fire. I mean, our guys can put out almost any fire, but you need water and you need, uh, you know, you need the ability to not be overcome by the, the massive heat and, um, you know, the danger of that fire. So just getting as many people out, there were 16,000 people we found later on that had gone through the, you know, the attendance check, whatever you call it, uh, that morning. Yeah. It, if it had been later at noontime, it could have been much worse. It would have been yeah. thousands and thousands more people in the mall downstairs, in the garage, in the subway system. So uh, guys did a great job. Uh, Subway's uh, MTA did a great job stopping the yeah. trains, getting everybody out. You know, it's eight floors below the Trade Center. People yeah. don't realize that there's a whole, it's a whole city, uh, yeah. the, both the towers. Uh, Commissioner, you and Rudy Giuliani went to hundreds of funerals in the weeks and months that followed. How did you personally cope with such staggering loss and stay strong for those families? I don't know. You know, uh, somebody wrote a book and they, quest they had a quote from me, and I, I don't remember saying it, but they, I said to somebody, what was I supposed to do, quit? You know, it just, um, I had been a firefighter, I had been the president of the union, then the commissioner, so the, it was very much more personal for me than it was for a typical 
political appointee or a lawyer or somebody that comes in to run the department. For me, it was a lot of people that I had grown up with and 30 years in the department, friends, sons of friends, and uh, just a tremendous amount of people. So as the day went on and the losses, you know, started to focus on the amount of loss we were going to have, it just got harder and harder. And then the weeks after, it got worse and worse because then you, like you mentioned, attending those funerals and looking at the young uh, mother with a couple of kids in the fir first row of that uh, church or giving a you know eulogy. It was uh, yeah, it was the worst thing that I've ever been through. But I was one of the lucky ones. I I lived, my family lived, and uh, always put myself um, as a lucky person compared to someone um, who lost their husband or yeah. their father. You, brother. you know, Commissioner, uh, you, uh, you you did absolutely an amazing job under the most difficult circumstances uh, imaginable. And Commissioner Tom Van Essen, we appreciate you being here and helping us remember September 11th, 2001. Thank you, sir. Thanks, Tom.